This time we're going to subtract mixed numbers. Again, we have to have common denominators. It might be tempting to look at these numerators and say, oh, 7 minus 5, wow, that means 2. But we don't have common denominators. We have to have common denominators. So let's try the latter. We have 9 and 8. Well, hmm. The lowest prime number is 2, and 2 does not go into 9. It does go into 8, so we can't use it, though. 3 does go into 9, but it does not go into 8. 4 is not prime. 5 does not go into 9 or 8. 7 does not go into 9 or 8. Uh, and then we go with 11, so we're kind of stuck. We have to go with just 1. 1 is the only number that both 9 and 8 can be divided by. So 9 divided by 1 is 9, and 8 divided by 1 is 8. And again, we find the least common multiple by multiplying down the L. So the LCM, which gives us the lowest common denominator, is 1 times 9 times 8. 1 times 9 is 9, and 9 times 8 is 72. So our LCM, our least common denominator, is going to be 72. So first of all, let's change these fractions. Uh, we'll ignore the whole numbers for right now. So we have 7 ninths and we have 5 eighths. And we're going to turn them into fractions of something over 72. Something over 72. And we're going to do that with multiplication. And we ask ourselves 9 times what equals 72? And we ask ourselves 8 times what equals 72? Well, something we notice a lot of times when we don't have a common multiple that only one goes into both, really what we're going to find is that 9 times 8 equals 72 and 8 times 9 equals 72. So 9 times 8 does equal 72, so our magic one is 8 over 8 for that. And so 7 times 8 is 56. And 8 times 9 equals 72. Magic one is 9, so we have 5 times 9 is 45. So we have 56 over 72 and 45 over 72. So we're done with these parts, so let's cross those out, and we're left with subtracting this. So our denominator is 72, so our denominator remains 72. So now we have 56 minus 45. Let's bring those over here so we can see it a little clearer. 56 minus 45. 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1, and that means 11. So our numerator is 11 over 72. So uh, the fraction part of this is going to be 11 over 72. But we're not done yet because we still have this to subtract. We have 9 minus 7. And 9 minus 7 equals 2. So 9 and 7 ninths minus 7 and 5 eighths equals 2 and 11 over 72. Let's take a look at one more subtraction problem. 12 minus 4 and 5 6. Well, you might ask yourself, well, what am I going to do here? I, I don't have any fractions to subtract this fraction from. Well, it's pretty simple. Here's what we're going to do. The 12 is the same as 11 plus 1. I think we can agree to that. So we take the 11, and let's take that 1 and let's turn it into a fraction. Well, we can write it a lot of different ways, uh, but we know that we need to have a denominator of 6. So we can write this as 11 plus 6 over 6. 11 plus 1 and 11 plus 1 equals 12. So we have 11 and 6, 6, and we have 4 and 5, 6. So let's subtract 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Remember, we keep our denominators the same. And 11 minus 4 is 7. So our answer is 7 and 1 sixth. I bet you that was a lot easier than you thought it was going to be. 
I'm going to show you one more way to add and subtract mixed numbers. The other way is to turn them both into improper fractions. So let's try that. 11 times 16, well if you don't remember what that is, do 11 times 16 over here. So 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, put a 0 as a placeholder, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, and then we add those. 6 plus 0 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 0 is 1, so 176. So 176 plus 7, and 176 plus 7 is 7 plus 6 is 13, 1 plus 7 is 8, 183. So we have 183 over 16. That would be one way of changing that to an improper fraction. Let's do the same thing with 8 and 3 eighths. So 8 times 8 is 64. 64 plus 3 is 67 over 8. And we're going to subtract these. Now, notice we have 16 as a denominator and 8 as a denominator. We have to have common denominators. Now, I'm going to kind of take a shortcut because I know that 2 times 8 is 16. So I know if I take 67 over 8, instead of finding the LCM, I can just multiply by 2 over 2, and I'm going to have a denominator the same as this one. So 8 times 2 equals 16. 67 times 2, let's try that out, 67 times 2, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so we have 134 over 16, so now let's rewrite the problem as 183 over 16 minus 134 over 16 and we'll subtract those let's write the 183 and 183 minus 134 over here we know our denominator is going to be the same it's going to be 16 so let's re regroup and subtract 13 minus 4 is 9 7 minus 3 is 4 1 minus 1 is 0, so 49 sixteenths. 49 sixteenths is our answer, but we're not done yet because it is not simplified. It is an improper fraction, 49 sixteenths. So let's simplify it. For all fractions are division problems. 49 divided by 16, so we'll take 49, we will divide by 16. 16 is really close to 15, so I'm going to skip count by 15s and see how close I can get to 49. 15, 30, 45, okay, I'm going to say 3. And so 16 times 3, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is uh, 3, I'm sorry, is 4. So we have 3 times 16 is 48, 3 times 16 is 48. We we're really close there. 49 minus 48 is 1, so we have a remainder of 1. And our denominator stays the same, 16. So 3 and 1 16. So this answer is 16. I'm sorry, it's not 16. This answer is 11 and 7 16 minus 8 and 3 8 is 3 and 1 16. So you can change to improper fractions and then subtract. You can also change to improper fractions and add, but you will, when you get done, you need to make sure you turn it back into a proper fraction or mixed number, like our answer here.